barking? Were you barking at everybody? Were you? Let's get going. Let's get our bodies moving. Let's wake up, but let's chill out all at the same time, right? Two extremes, two extremes that go together and we meet somewhere in the middle. All right, sounds like a plan. So let's, let's start kneeling. If that's comfortable for you, if it's not comfortable for you, sit cross-legged on the floor. I'd like you to just place your hands on top of your thighs and begin by closing your eyes. I'm wrapping already. I'm so hood here from the north of England. There we go. So let your hands just rest on top of your thighs. Take an inhale in through the nose and exhale it out through the mouth. <sighs> Get it all out. <coughs> Not quite like that. And again, deep inhale. <sighs> One more time, deep inhale. Sigh it out. Begin to inhale through your nose and just sit energized in the spine. Lengthen your spine. And I want you to imagine the breath coming in through the crown of the head so you lift up as it rolls all the way down your spine and into your body. As you exhale, it expands from outside the edges of your body. Now maybe placing left hand on your heart, right hand on top. We're gonna begin this week by really honoring ourselves. What does that mean? That means just really focusing on what makes you deep down in there happy, healthy, and something that'll make you expand. Good, bring the hands in front of the heart. Draw the chin into the chest, take a deep inhale and reach those hands above the head. Reach up, lengthen the spine, maybe the eyes come open, but just a soft gaze. Maybe come up all the way onto the knees, curl the toes under. Reach up, look up. Good, exhale. Take that left hand behind. I want you to grab your right butt cheek and just reach back a little. How's it feeling today? Good, inhale all the way up, reach up. Exhale, rotate. Take that right hand, grab your butt cheek. Oh yeah, feeling firm, but it needs a bit of work. <laughs> it's all good, take a deep inhale. Extend the arms all the way out like a good morning stretch. Take them all the way behind the back. Clasp the fingers. Good, take a deep inhale. Push those hands down, draw the shoulder blades together. Draw the nose to the sky. Oh, open out the chest. Activate that heart, that energy center for feeling. We're gonna feel shit this week. Good, and inhale, release, reach up. Release the toes, extend the hands behind, draw the crown of the head to the floor, child's pose. Take three breaths here for me. Slowly rise, draw the hands in front, underneath the shoulders, Come on up onto the knees, curl the toes under, take the knees hip width apart, cat cows. What the hell is that? Drop the belly, tilt the tailbone, exhale, draw the tailbone under, belly button in, chin to chest. Good, and inhale. Now, 
don't just go through the motions. I want you to pause at the top, get a bit more space, exhale. I want you to move with your breath and exhale. Good, sealing the lips, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Checking in with your spine, your hips. What's coming out to play today or what's saying, ah shit, you did too much over the weekend or you slept crap, whatever. Just listen to your body, come into neutral. Walk the hands a bit further forward. Begin those big giant rolls. So inhale, exhale, pushing back. Starting to get a little bit of energy flowing. Good, now my fingers are wide and I'm almost gripping the mat. Exhale, push it all the way back. Anywhere that feels stiff, hang out there for a bit. Good, and if your knees hurt, put a towel underneath your knees. Change direction for me when you're ready. Close your eyes, you're not missing anything except me wiggling my ass around on a mat. So get into your body. Yeah, good. Coming all the way to the front and drawing the elbows into the chest, slowly lower down onto your belly. Draw the elbows down underneath your shoulders, just readjust your hands, release the tips of your toes. Take an inhale, press those elbows into the mat. Now just kind of dump, relax, so you feel the difference. Your, your shoulders are kind of taking all the stress. And that's what happens with your body and your practice, right? We like to activate, so take an inhale, press the elbows in, so you're not dumping into the joints. Take an inhale, lift the nose to the sky. I want you to press the tops of your toes into the mat, squeeze your bum. Engage the thighs. Feel that compression in the lower back. Good, exhale, release. Just chin to chest. Inhale, press. Lift the nose up to the sky. Press the tops of the toes. Good, exhale, relax. Draw the hands under the shoulders. Elbows, drag them into the ribs. Glue them there. Press the tops of the toes and slowly start to rise. Halfway, lift the nose up, hold it, spread the fingers, we're strengthening, backs of the arms, lower back muscles, exhale, lower down. And again, inhale. Hold, exhale, lower down. This time we'll push all the way back to child's pose. So inhale, push up, back to the knees. Draw the toes together, forehead to the mat. Good, inhale, come all the way back to the front. Elbows in, lower down slowly. Good, inhale, press up. Exhale, bum to heels. Extend the upper back, good. Good, inhale, so you don't get to hang out and rest. We're just moving through, exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale. Press back, bum to heels. And draw the hands all the way back to the knees again. Slowly rise, curl the toes under, and inhale, lift the hands high above the head. Reach up, exhale, left hand, right butt cheek. Take it back a little more this time. Good, inhale all the way up. Reach, extend the spine, other side, grab that butt, especially if no one else is grabbing it these days. You might as well do it yourself, that's what I always say. Reach up, high. One more time each side. Right, let's get back to focusing on the breath and not your butt cheek, inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale, come back to center. Let's open out, twisting open, left hand behind. Now think about drawing this left hip forward, gaze over your shoulder. Inhale, back to center, reach up. Exhale, other side, 
Draw that right hip forward. Do one more. Reach up. It's a nice warming of the spine. Good, inhale all the way up. Exhale, clasp the hands behind. Open out the heart. Draw the hands down beneath the bum unless your bum's hanging down. And you'll never reach below it, but it's all good. It is what it is, right? Exhale, release. Crown of head to floor. Release the toes. Child's pose. Breathe, take five breaths here. Spread the fingers. Good, slowly rise. Curl the toes under. Lift the hips high, find downward facing dog for me. So it's the first thing after a weekend. Adjust your hands, your feet. Take your feet hip width apart. Maybe come into plank for a moment. Show your shoulders are right above your wrist. You can also come onto all fours again if that's better for you. Spread the fingers, roll into the thumb and the first finger. Now lift the knees, press back. Try to draw the heels down to the mat and start to walk your dog, paddling out the heels. But match the, with your breath, start to inhale so you slow it down. So nobody's going for a run. <laughs> You're going for a bloody walk. Slow down. Shake your head a little left to right, right to left. Come onto the toes, high onto the toes. Draw the belly to the thighs. Yeah, just extend that upper back. Could take an inhale for me and exhale, draw the heels down. Come high on the toes, bend the knees, step to the top of your mat. Nice soft knees, bring the hands to the shins, take an inhale, flat spine. Exhale, fold in. And again, inhale. Gaze forward, draw the shoulders back, draw the belly button in. Lower down, inhale, come all the way up. Reach up with the hands, palms touch. Hands to heart center, reset point. Take an inhale for me. Draw the chin in, belly button in. Tuck the tailbone. Tighten your bathroom muscles. Pick up all 10 toes and then press them into the mat. Feel your heels, feel the outside edges of, of your toes for me. Bring the hands down by the side. Tadasana, let's take two breaths. I want you to keep that type of breath, that energy building breath. Reach the hands above the head. Take a little side bend, grab your left wrist, take it over to the side. Press the hip out. Inhale, reach up, other side. Spine should feel pretty warm by now. You should feel pretty warm. Reach up, swan dive in. Draw the heart out, forward, forward. Curl in, take a halfway lift. And exhale, just dangle, just toe heel the feet, hip width apart for me. Grab opposite elbows. And I'd like you to just sway side to side, slowly softening one knee, elbow to knee, and the other. Now draw the belly in. You're just hanging in ragdoll. Just wanna release that lower back. Good, release the hands, maybe take an inhale and the left hand reaches above the head. Soften that right knee. Take the gaze up if you can. Exhale, bring it down. Other side, soften the other knee. Breathe. Bring the hands down, halfway lift. 
fold in. Next inhale, come all the way up. Reach the hands above the head. Take a little side bend. Grab your left wrist. And if you grabbed your right, don't worry about it. Go with it. Flow with it. Inhale, look up. Exhale, other side. Good. Let's take a little back bend. Oh, good. Swan dive in. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold in, grab your ragdoll arms and just sway, shake the head left to right. Just take the elbows left to right, slowly. Fingers down onto your mat, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, left hand reaches high above the head, soften that right knee. Maybe rotate the wrist. Bring the hand down, take an inhale, exhale, other side, soften left knee. Bring it down, forgot to shake my wrist, <laughs> inhale, didn't need it on that one. Exhale, fold, good, come all the way up, press through the feet, reach up. And this time, exhale, take your peace fingers, your two, I was going to say your two far fingers, grab your big toes. Now you might bend your knees to get in there. Grab your toes, take an inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold in. Look at your knees. We'll take five breaths, we'll pull up on the toes, we'll take the elbows out to the side. And then I want you to lift up through the tailbone. Make some space, draw the belly in and your head is relaxed. Take two more breaths, pulling up on the toes and really engaging that tailbone. Good, release, walk onto the palms of the hands, bring your toes to the crease of your wrist. You might have to bend right down. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Draw your belly button in. Look at your knees and start to bring the weight forward into the toes. And lift up through the shoulders so you'll feel the, the front side of your wrist releasing. Take the hands to the hips and slowly press through the feet, rise. Nice and slow because you've been upside down for quite a while. Exhale, relax, bring the hands down by the sides. Take a breath here, just let the blood return. Lock in your breathing. Let's take one more breath. Good, now bend the knees, sink the hips. You can sweep the floor with your hands. Reach the hands up, knees are apart. Hands shoulder width apart, spread the fingers. Lift all 10 toes, chair pose. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, sweep the hands down like a ski jumper. Look down and again, inhale. All the breath out, one more. Come all the way up. Take a back bend, exhale, fold down the middle, palms together, stick your butt out. Halfway lift, palms down, feet back, we'll take a vinyasa transition. What the hell is that if you're just joining in? You can drop to your knees, lower down, elbows in, hover, look forward, release the toes, draw the chest through and up. Open the heart, shoulders back. Good, take a roll onto one hip, look over the shoulder. Keep your elbows soft for me, fingers spread and gripping the mat. Other side. Come back to the front, curl the toes, come back to your knees, hips high, downward facing dog. Readjust your hands, your feet, press back, take three breaths here for me, look at your belly button. So that's what I want your breath to sound like. Fogging a mirror. Come on to the toes. 
take the side of your feet over. So drop the heels over to the left. So the knife edges of your feet press back with the hands. So you get a little IT action here. Good, inhale, come on to the toes. Drop the heels over to the right. Press back. Inhale, come on to the toes. Press the heels back, downward facing dog. Walk the toes together and on your next inhale, right leg high to the sky. And I want you to press back through the hands, three-legged dog. Curl the heel in, lift the knee high, maybe rotate the ankle, fingers are still spread. Good, point the toe high to the sky, exhale, bring that foot all the way through. Drop down to the back knee and take an inhale, come on up into a crescent lunge. Take a little back bend, breathe, look up at the hands. Good, bring the hands back down to frame the foot. Lift the back knee off. And if you take a deep inhale, maybe that right hand reaches high to the sky. Let's take three big circles back and forwards. Inhale, forwards. Take it all the way back. Follow the hand with your gaze. Nice, slow circles, slow it down. Frame the foot with the hands. Take a deep inhale, step that back foot in about two feet. Toes point the same direction. You can have a soft bend in the front leg. Inhale, look out. Exhale, fold in. Try to draw that right hip back. It's called pyramid pose. Gaze at your big toe. Good, on the next inhale, back leg, lift it up. Standing split. Take your hands a little bit in front of the toes if you're balanced. Look at your knee. One more breath. Both feet together. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Come on up to chair pose. I'm gonna step back for a bit. Good, hold it there, pick up all 10 toes. Take those three ski jumps. Get all the air out of the belly. Inhale. Hands come all the way back and up. Pick up all 10 toes. Then the weights in the heel, doing good for the bum. Come all the way up, a little back bend. Fall down the middle. Halfway lift, feet down, I mean hands down, feet back. Transition through to down dog, however you prefer. Shoulders over the wrists, lower down, release. Toes, press up, shoulders back, maybe roll onto the side. If you're taking the full vinyasa, Curl the toes, hip side, down dog, paddling the heels if that feels good. And walking the toes together. On your next inhale, left leg high to the sky. Press back, feel that three-legged dog. Curl the heel into the bum, lift the knee higher. So you're opening out that hip, rotate the toes if that feels good. Take a deep inhale, point the toe to the sky, look forward. Exhale, bring it through. Drop down to the back knee and inhale, come on up. Lean back just a little. Good, hands frame the front foot. Take a deep inhale, lift the knee off the ground. Float it for a little. On your next inhale, left hand high to the sky. Reach up, twist open, maybe three big circles with the arm. Follow the arm all the way, front and back. Inhale as it passes through.
frame the front foot, step the back foot in about two feet, toes point the same direction, soften that front leg, take an inhale, lengthen, exhale, draw that hip back, maybe straightening the leg as much as you can, drawing the body in, look at the big toe. Pyramid pose, think about that left hip drawing it back, belly buttons in and engaged, keeping that energy in. Take one more deep breath and we're going to fly that back leg up to the sky. Standing split, you can rearrange your hands, draw your head towards the knee. Taking one more breath, bring both feet together, bend the knees, sink the hips, come on up to chair pose. Palms together, knees together this time. Take a twist out to the left. So right elbow, left knee, dip the hips down. Now see what happens to the knees. Look down, you'll see one knee likes to come forward. So let's draw that back. See what that feels like in the hip. Take the gaze up to the ceiling, press into the hands and lift your belly off your thighs. Good, inhale, come through center. Stay low. Your legs might burn, pick up all 10 toes. Twist the other side. See that hip coming forward, so draw it back. Press into the hands, gaze up to the ceiling. Take one more breath here. Good, inhale, come all the way up. Come all the way, take a back bend. Open out the arms, spread. Hold it there, shoulder blades together. Get that heart beaming forward and all your other bits beaming forward draw the elbows forward squeeze your bum good inhale tall palms together swan dive all the way in halfway lift take your transition to downward facing dog i'll meet you there however you want to get there Lowering down, elbows in release, press through the hands, press through the tops of the toes, curl toes, hips high, downward facing dog. Good, paddle the heels. Take five breaths here, I want you to slow your breathing down. Notice how the body's feeling now, energized, waking it up at the start of another day. Breathe. Walk the toes together, middle of the mat. Next inhale, right leg high to the sky. Curl it open, heel comes into the bum if you'd like to flip your dog. You allow that top leg to come all the way back. You can sit down on the bum, press into the heels and spring up with the hips, reach up. So that's the safe way to do it. Good, hand back down, kick that leg high to the sky. Draw the knee to nose. Kick it high. Knee across the body to the left elbow. So you're crossing the body. Now extend that foot through. Mine did not want to go through. If you like, you can float that left hand up, fallen triangle. Woo, it's hard on my wrist. Place it down, kick the leg high, but I gave it a try. Exhale, draw the foot in between the hands. Seal the back heel. Come on up, warrior one. Let's dip into the front knee. Let's take three breaths here. Draw that left hip forward. Take a third breath. On your exhale, open out to warrior two. Dip into that front knee, gaze, front middle finger, fingers spreading front to back. Draw the belly button in. Flip the palm, reverse it. Take the hand all the way back, dip into the front knee. Gaze down at the back foot, if that feels better. 
Two more breaths. One more breath. Take that right hand all the way down in front of those right toes. See if you can slide that back leg in and come into a balanced pose. Half moon. Reach the hands high. Take the gaze down to the floor. We'll take one more breath. Soften the front knee, drop the back toe. Come all the way up, straighten the legs. Grab that right wrist, draw it back. Sky Archer, look up at the hands. We'll release this entire right side of the body. Pull up on the wrist, engage a little more action in there. Good, release the wrist, twist it all the way round to the right side. Left hand down, right hand high, back heel off the ground, into that dragonfly twist. And I've got one more balance pose for you, so keep the hand high, gaze down at the floor, pick up that back leg. It's revolved half moon. You might need your block in front of you, you might be falling over, just have patience, you're all good. Soften front knee, drop the back foot, come up to the side of your mat. Open out, take a back bend. Ugh. Exhale, fold in, crown of the head to the floor. Fingers in line with the toe tips. Take a halfway lift, get some space in the hips, look out. Exhale, fold in, take three breaths here, just shake the head, just chill and breathe. One more breath. I added another because it felt so good. Good, slowly take the hands to the hips. Come up all the way. Exhale, ground down. Take another wide, open out, back bend. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Bring the heels in. Dip down to goddess pose. Spread the fingers, shoulder blades back, chest. If you had a front fastening bra, it would bust open. Boys, you'll have to work with me on that visual. Lift one heel off the ground. Adjust your balance. Drop the heel. Other side. Keep those arms engaged. Drop the heel. See if you can lift both heels. Dip a little lower. Good, take two more breaths here, balance, strength. Good, rise up, palms touch, rotate those right toes all the way to the front. Back toes, bring them in, so it brings the hip round about 45 degrees to the corner. Extend the hands long, we'll come into triangle, gaze front middle finger, reach, reach, reach. Stick the hip back. Hand falls down to a shin, to a block. Left hand reaches high. Now I want you to lift up with the fingers, press down through the feet. Extend the spine and rotate open a little more. Take two more breaths. Triangle pose. Good, gaze down at the big toe. Soft in the front knee. Release the hands. Kick the back leg up, standing split, square off the hips. Look at your knee. Good, take that foot back. Right foot back to join it. Take your transition or come right into down dog. Your choice, you've got five breaths in downward facing dog. Adjust your hands, your feet. Go for it, five beautiful deep breaths. Spread your fingers. What the hell just happened? One more breath. Walk the toes together on your next inhale. 
Left foot high to the sky. Good, press back. Draw the heel into the bum. You can flip your dog to soften that right leg. Come down to your bum if you'd like to try. Bring your hand round. Springboard up, flipping, lifting up. Open the chest. Good, flip it back. Point that toe to the back. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring the shoulders over the wrist. Squeeze in. Inhale, kick it high. Now draw knee to right elbow across the body underneath. If we can, straighten that leg. If you can, maybe float right hand. Fall in triangle. Bring the hand back down. Kick the leg back high, three-legged dog. Bring it in between the hands. Drop the back heel, warrior one. Good, rise up with the hands, press down through the feet. Relax the shoulders, gaze up. One more breath. Open out, warrior two. Dip in, relax the shoulders. Gaze, front middle finger. One more breath. Flip the palm, reach and reverse. You can gaze down at the back foot. Dip in a little more. Good, that top hand, left hand in front of the toes. Setting up for your half moon. You draw the back leg in, find your balance slowly, opening out the hips. Slowly curling open the arm. Open out. Maybe even floating that bottom hand. Soften the leg. Drop the back foot. Lift up, taking that left wrist all the way back. Straighten left leg. Sky Archer. So lift up through the wrist and open out that rib cage. Take one more breath, then we're gonna twist it out. Come all the way over to the left. Rotate the body. Bring the right hand down, left hand up. Drag and fly, your back heels off the ground. Good, gaze down at the toes. This is where we fly again with the rotation. Slowly draw the back foot up, lift it up if it will come. Now you could just keep it on the ground and come into revolved triangles. That's another alternative for you. But try the float, try the float for me. I don't know what the hell's happened to our music. There we go, came back. Soften the leg, drop the back foot, open out to the side of your mat. Whew, take a breath, open out. Clasp the hands behind. Inhale, open the chest, shoulders together. Forward fold. Crown of the head, lift the hands off with you. Shake the head side to side, you've got five breaths here. Good, bring the hands into the back and slowly rise. Nice and slow. Exhale, ground down. Left toes, point them to the front. Right toes, bring them round. Extend the hands long into triangle pose. So you inhale, exhale, you reach, you reach. Drop that bottom hand, left hand on the shin, right hand reaches up. Take two more breaths here. Gaze down at the big toe, soften into the front leg, frame the front foot, kick up the back leg, standing split. Maybe you wanna practice floating the palms together or grabbing your ankle, just to challenge yourself. Back foot back, left foot back to join it. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Five breaths, down dog.
And if you get more breaths than five, lucky you. But slow them down. Walk the toes together. And let's flow one more time. We'll pick up the pace. We'll do one breath, one move. So take a deep inhale, right leg high to the sky. Good, open out the hip, maybe flip the dog. Or just open out the hip, rotate the ankle. As you know how, flip it over, three-legged dog. Take an inhale, exhale, knee to nose, hover. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, knee to left elbow, cross the body. Maybe floating the leg through, coming onto the knife edge. Fall in triangle, kick the leg high. Three-legged dog. Bring the foot through, drop the back heel. Come on up, warrior one. Inhale, all the way up. Open out, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse. Gaze down at the big foot. Good, right hand comes in front of the toes. Half moon. Open out, feel it. Soften the leg. Back foot drops, rise on up. Straighten both legs, sky archer. Draw the body back. Stay there. Good, twist all the way around. Dragonfly twist, I had to think about that one. Open up. Good, open out to the side of your mat. Take a back bend. Exhale, fold in, just slide the hands down the thighs. Crown of the head to the floor. Shake your head. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your hips and come on up. Rotate the toes, front of the mat, back foot. Extend the hands, triangle pose. Reach. Good, gaze down at the toes, standing split, lift up. Feet back, flow through to downward facing dog. Exhale, hips high. Five breaths. Spread your fingers, walk the toes together. And on your next inhale, left leg high to the sky. Open out the hip, rotate the ankle or flip your dog. Flip it back. That's a bit of a crap flip dog with a bad wrist. It's all good. Knee to nose. See, I shouldn't even judge. It is what it is, right? Kick it high, knee to elbow, cross the body. Extend the leg, open out, floating triangle. Drop the hand, kick the leg high. Exhale, bring it through. Drop the heel, warrior one. This is the most flow we've done. Dip in, look up. Open out, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse. Good, left hand in front of the toes, fly. Half moon. Open up. Soft in the front leg, drop the back foot. Come on up, Scratcher. Draw that left wrist all the way up and back. Hold it here for a breath. Rotate round to the left, pick up the back heel, right hand down, left hand high, dragonfly, setting up for flying, revolved, half moon. 
Good, open out to the side. Toe, take the toes around, take a little back bend, clasp the hands, press the hands down, shoulders together, fold it in. Bring those hands. Hands into the back, come on up on an inhale. Rotate toes to the front of your mat. Triangle pose to finish, reach out. Reach, reach, reach. Left hand down, right hand high, take the gaze to the sky. Take one breath. Gaze down at the big toes, frame the front foot. Kick the leg, standing split. Look at your knee. Good, now bring the toes together. Soft bend the knees, sink the hips, and inhale, come up to chair pose. Come up to chair. Good, bring the hands to heart. Pick up all 10 toes for me. How are we doing? Good, I'd like you to just play with your balance for the last few breaths before we hit the mat hard. <laughs> So either if you need to come to a balance, place to balance, let's do that. Otherwise, left leg. Come into figure four. So cross left ankle, right knee. Sit down. Just gonna play. We're gonna use this fire that we've built, this heat in the body, and sit in that heat for a few breaths. Let's take five breaths here. We already snuck five in while I was talking. Technique. <laughs> Take your gaze in front of you. Sit down a little deeper. And if you're holding onto a wall, brilliant. Because we're playing with strengthening the proprioceptors, all these stabilizers in this standing foot. Notice how they're wobbling to course correct. Take one more breath. Take that right hand to the hip. See if you can grab your left toe and stand up. Oh, Maybe extend that toe. Or you're just holding on to your knee. If you can't bind your big toe, just hold your knee. Five breaths. You've done three already. You've got two left. Good. Everybody bring that heel in. I want you to switch hands, left hand on the hip, right hand on the knee. Stand tall, maybe gaze over the shoulder. If you like, maybe grab the outside edge of the foot and extend. Oh, what are we doing? Maybe the back hand reaches behind. Okay, my right ankle's about to revolt. Bring the hand back to the hip, bring the knee in. Rotate that ankle, shake it out. <laughs> How does your right hip and right ankle feel about now? Feels like it got a little shake up, right? Shake it out. Good. Come back to your breath, bring the hands back to the heart. <sighs> it's all over except we've got to balance everything. Yin yang babies. So right ankle, left knee. If you need to go to a wall, go to a wall, right? If you're constantly falling, give yourself a chance. Bend down into your figure four. Palms together, just keep your gaze steady. We'll take five breaths. <laughs> I did it again. So beautiful on the hips. This is like pigeon, right? It's getting right into that hip socket. So the good news is you won't be doing pigeon on the floor. Good, left hand to hip, right hand on the knee or grab the toe. Stand tall for five breaths. If you'd like to take a toe bind and extend the heel forward, draw the shoulder back, hip back.
Good, drawing that heel back in. Left hand to the outside of the knee. Try to take your gaze all the way back. Bring your hand on the hip. If you'd like to play a little more, extend that hand out. Grab the outside edge of the foot and extend. It's called dancing shiva. Notice you take your gaze over, you might start wobbling. So fix your gaze again. My left foot wobbling a lot more than the right. So I know that this side a little weaker today. Good, slowly release. Shake it out. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, just bend the knees, bring your bum down to the floor. Sit down on your bum. Good. Just extend the feet to the outside edge of the mat. Knees point to the ceiling. Bring your hands down by the sides and just take some windshield wipers for me. Hi, Blue. Mummy's trying to windshield wipe so you can't get in the middle. Coming back to centre, just draw the soles of the feet together. Take a deep inhale, lift up. Maybe grab your bum, pull it out from your sit bones. And slide the hands underneath the ankles, palms face up. Draw the chin into the chest. Good, slowly release. Draw the knees together, take the feet apart a little and slowly make your way down onto your back. Oh, I don't know about slowly, more like collapse. Bring the fingers down by the sides. Just bring the heels in towards your bum a little bit more. Palms flat, take a deep inhale. Let's draw the belly button in, tilt the tailbone and lift up into bridge to just get a little back bend in there. Draw the shoulders underneath, maybe clasp the fingers and just press the hips up to the sky. Chin into chest, just close your eyes, stay there. Draw the heels as though you're pulling your heels back towards your bum, as though you're pressing your knees forward. Just engage a little bit more. Last little push and then let it go. Draw the knees into the chest. And allow those knees to fall over to the left. Just bring the body all the way over to. Take the right hand on top of the knees for me. Extend. Sorry, left hand on top of the knees. Extend right hand overhead and just turn the head in towards your armpit. Notice your breath. Good, slowly release the arm. Roll back onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest for me. Maybe rock a little left to right, right to left. And draw those knees all the way over. Come onto your right side, extend left hand. Overhead, turn the head into the armpit. Deep inhale and exhale, relax.
slowly draw the knees back to center. Hug your knees in one last time. Maybe draw the forehead up to the knees. Give yourself a squeeze and exhale. Just let it go, final resting shape, the best one right now. Take the hands out by the sides, maybe open out the heels, the hands, take up space on the floor, palms up to receive. Settle into Shavasana.
Take a soft inhale. Soft exhale. Slowly just coming back. Body. Wiggling the toes a little. Maybe the fingers a little. Taking a good morning stretch up. Hugging your knees in towards your chest and finding your way just onto your sides for me. Just rest your head on your hands for a moment. And when you're ready, press up into a cross-legged seated position on your mat. Bringing your hands in towards your heart as we seal in the practice with gratitude, gratitude for us, for ourselves, for showing up on the mat, spending time with you deep down in there. Take a deep inhale and exhale it out. And again, deep inhale, exhale it out. Let's do one more, energizing that breath of life. Seal the lips, bow your head. I want you to think of one person that needs some loving, healing energy today. Once you have that person in your mind, I want you to visualize them happy, running around, moving around, full of energy, full of life, full of happiness and joy. There you go. That's how easy it actually is to send energy outwards. The light in me on is the light in each and every one of you out there. From me, deep down in here. Namaste.